My name is Jerome, uh, I'm a coach. I've coached at different levels. Previously I coached at uh, the South China basketball men's team at Division I level for a few years. Now I'm coaching uh, the South China uh, women's Division I team. I'm also the CEO at uh, Sports360. Uh, I do uh, skills training as well for uh, individual players. The biggest uh, difference about training, uh, I think it really uh, roots from the cultural difference. In the States, the structure of basketball, they, they, you, know, you could play professional uh, basketball. There's a lot more scholarships for these players. So um, a lot of the, the players in the States, they really strive to, uh, for excellence, you know, to, to get that scholarship, to play in the NBA, or even to uh, play overseas. So our curriculum was put together by Gannon Baker, who's one of the uh, original NBA skills trainers. Um, he's worked with KD, Kobe, LeBron, Mars Stoudemire, so you know, he's, he knows what he's doing. Um, so in January of 2016, we had the opportunity to send uh, five of our coaches over to train and learn from him for a month, and then to bring those uh, skills and uh, bring back what Gannon taught them to Hong Kong to teach to uh, the rest of our students and the rest of the basketball community here. I am Hoi Gon. I'm playing Hong Kong Cup 1 in the Nam Ha Tui. I'm going to go there and I'm very happy. 都每一日都花好多時間去同我上堂啊練習咁樣樣，咁個密度都好高嘅。喺嗰邊嘅練習咧，好注重個人技術啦。咁可能尤其是我同佢係基本上差唔多係一對一嘅練習，咁所以佢每個動作都要求好高，所以個練習個強度都誒係同香港好唔同咯。啊，可能我同 Sport 三六零嘅練習都係。主要想跟翻類似喺美國嗰陣時個練習咁樣樣，咁就 focus 多啲喺個人技術方面嘅都係。Working out as a professional athlete, probably one of the best jobs ever. Just be, just for the simple fact that I create my own hours, so I can wake up, I can go work out, I can take a nap, I can wake up again and go work out again. It's not as strenuous as a nine to five where it's it's set that you gotta do these hours nine to five that's it you know, I create my own hours and that's the beauty of it is that I'm doing something I love basic everyday training for me if I'm at home or if I'm here in Hong Kong would be sleep to about uh, depending on the day sleep to about maybe eight o'clock get up have breakfast be at the gym by 10, uh, stay, into, stay in the gym until about uh, 12. After uh, the gym session, I go grab a bite to eat, and then I'm, um, I'm up and about for the weight room session. After the weight room session, go home, take a shower, maybe get something to eat, and then the last session is um, either a game or uh, basketball runs, or something to get my cardio. The difference between coaching and, um, I guess, being a professional athlete is uh, a coach, you're responsible for the whole team, so it's a reflection upon you, whereas when you're a professional athlete, it's only um, a reflection upon yourself. Um, you know, you get what you put in, so, whereas um, as a coach, you kind of have to motivate guys. You got to be like a father figure to them which is what I was to the team I coached. As a coach, just training younger players, I would focus on that not everybody's gonna be at the same level. So you gotta know that with some kids, 
you got to focus on the basics. And with other kids, you got to be able to challenge them and do more advanced stuff with them. So just keeping both parties interested. For the players at the camp, I want, at the end of the day, I want them to leave the camp and say, man, I had a great time. I want to go back next year. But also, I want to improve. I want to get better. And them knowing that there are going to be some things they can't do. And I want them to go home and say, man, I couldn't do this. I want to be able to do this if he comes back next year. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and work on this. That's, that's my biggest goals for them.